Hey, what's up everybody? Eric here. And today I am talking about sink-based cabinets and frameless, uh, in the frameless construction. So I received a question about uh, how the sink bases are built for our cabinets. Um, well, it kind of depends. So uh, there isn't really one set way uh, for the construction because it depends on manufacturer. So on the right-hand side here, we've got a Solera cabinet and then on the left here we have a crystal cabinet so uh, I'm gonna focus more on the one on, on the right here so uh, you've got a full top here uh, as a standard construction um, the particular box I have shown here it's a 5 8 thick cabinet box but um, we've already gone to a three-quarter thick now in the last year or so um, but in any case for a sink base all it is is just uh, instead of a regular cabinet with uh, a functional drawer you you would have a fixed drawer uh, drawer front instead. So this here would just be attached to the cabinet uh, by little clips in the back. Um, we have the option to have uh, a full height door going to, all the way to the top with no drawer fronts. Uh, that is an option. And, and if we do that, what we would do is uh, when the door gets opened, um, there would be a horizontal piece that we run uh, on the top usually just to cover the bowl of the sink. So the part that dips into the cabinet. So that's really all it is. Um, how much of a reveal you have here in the front or in the back for your faucets really depend on how large your actual sink is. So if, um, in this case, I'm, I, my sample here is only 18 inches deep, but a standard cabinet would be 24 inches deep. So um, you probably leave about an inch or two in the front. And then in the back, you probably need a few inches for the faucet that actually sits in here. And especially if you have a handle um, that is on the side operation, and then you tilt forward and backward to control the cold versus the hot water. So you might want to give a little bit more space in the back because you might have a backsplash or uh, a window sill that protrudes forward. So uh, you want to make sure that it doesn't um, hit uh, whatever's in the, in the back of the wall there. Um, so that would be our, our three quarter thick uh, construction for the Solera boxes. If you were in a crystal cabinet box, um, which was shown here on the left, um, you just have three quarter thick and stretchers are the, uh, the same front and back. Really more or less the same here with, uh, with what would be a, a drawer front or a uh, sink skirt. So where a sink skirt would be again, just a piece of solid filler here going straight across to help um, prevent any flexing um, from the weight of the cabinet or weight of the sink. So that's it um you can basically cut out to whatever you need for for your sink there uh, on site and the only other thing to remember is uh, whatever exterior width we have for the cabinet so in this particular cabinet i think this is a 15 inch box so we are measuring from the side of the box to the side of the box so being that these panels are three quarter thick um, the interior dimension is going to be one and a half inches less than the standard uh, width. So the interior of a 15 inch cabinet will be uh, 13 and a half. Um, so if you're uh, thinking like a, a 30 inch sink, for example, uh, if the bowl width is 30 inch width, then you need at least a 33 inch cabinet um, to, to fit that. Uh, and that would be really tight uh, because your interior will only be 31 and a half. And then keep in mind that your uh, plumber and whoever's installing the cabinets and sinks uh, will still need to get their tools in there um, to to work on the the plumbing so um, if you want to be safe go bigger on the cabinet like a 36 inch if space permits uh, or go small on a sink bowl all right thanks for watching